Are we recording? Is this live? Well, it's not live, but it's recording. So yesterday I was feeling freaking tired. Got a good seven and a half, maybe eight hours of sleep. Feeling much better today. And I finished for the day as well. So it's a Thursday for me. I finish at about 12 o'clock. Start at six, finish at 12. Not a bad, not a bad day. Probably have a bit more work to do, but that's okay. Um, I can go home and see my family now, which is awesome and be with them tonight. Uh, so yeah, the reflection I had just a second ago, I was thinking about this and um, I was thinking like, oh, I feel good. I could actually go back to work tonight. You know, like I would be totally 100% fine with that. When normally in my corporate world job, I'd be like, no, no, I put my hours in, I'm fucked out, I'm out of there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not giving one more second than I have to. It's that idea of when you look at the clock and you're watching the clock, clock watching, and it's 4.55 and then it's like 4.55 and 30 seconds and it's like four, you know, like the time just drags when you're trying to wait till it's five o'clock. So the second hits that, you're not, you're not wasting one more ounce of energy and one more ounce, you know, of, of, of time or whatever, one more second of time uh, being there. Whereas when you're happy with where you're at, it's like you just go, well, I could be there again. Now I'm not going to go back tonight because of course I want to spend the time with my family and we're looking forward to that, but it's a pretty amazing feeling to be able to say, I could go back to work tonight. Like I would be totally fine with that after, you know, three days of kind of 12 hour days in the gym, like program writing, um, doing my personal training, um, getting new clients on board, you know, sell, sales and that, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, it's a pretty fucking good feeling to be able to say that and be like, yeah, cool, I could, I could totally go back again and it would be totally fine with that. Um, when normally I would not be doing that and um, obviously the only reason I'm not, because the, the reality is at the moment, I mean, I'm in a really good place, so it feels good, but um, I'm being pretty high in demand at the moment with a lot of clients who want to see me, a lot of people want to see me, but I just can't fit the hours in the day at the moment because I am still trying to protect my time, obviously with my family. So I'm giving every that can for the hours that I'm there, but then the reality is that there's more that I could be doing and I could get to my goal quicker um, of the numbers I wanna hit. And you know, obviously the impact is what is the biggest thing and the impact I wanna create in life, but it's not gonna work if, I'm, if, I, if I go overboard too much, um, I will start devaluing my, what, I, what I can provide because I won't give it you know, 100%, I might give it 95%, and then if I do you know, more hours on top of that, I might get 90%, and then you know, the slippery slope happens, but I am making sure I'm protected time and committing to what I'm doing for the time that I'm there, and making sure when I'm not there that I'm not switched on in that space while you know, I found myself doing this being at home and with my kids, you know, I'll be with them, my boy, my three-year-old will be having a bath or something, and I'll be sitting there with him and I'll kind of, he'll be doing his thing, playing with his toys and I'll drift off and start thinking about work stuff. And it's like, wake up motherfucker. Like your, your family's right in front of you. Like focus, you know, just, just be present for the, for that. Like it's important to be present in that moment. Sure. You want to work and, you know, provide impact and get the income and, you know, live that amazing life that you want to live and by design. But at the same time, um, you know, your, your family, your family is very important too. And don't just take every, you know, don't sneak around and take every spare moment you can to, you know, work on like grab your phone, which I've known I've, I've been doing a little bit is grabbing my phone and, uh, just answering that text message or email or on a phone call. It's like when I switch off, try to switch off as much as you can. But of course the balance is that you want to, like I'm in the beginning stages of my business. So, um, as if you ever run a business before, you know, it's like those early days, you got to smash it as much as you can to try and bring your, your numbers up so you can hit the impact level you want and as well as the income level that you want and need to, to break even um, to make sure, you know, at least you're paying all your bills as a minimum. So, and I'm not there yet, but that's okay. I'm, I'm well on my way there and I'll keep pushing until I get there and uh, focusing on that impact. impact. So that's all I wanted to say for um, this one. And yeah, if, get some sleep. It's the best thing. Like you just feel so much better. I also made sure I maintain like my good workout routine. I had a really good workout with a fellow personal trainer today, which was cool. Um, we had a workout together and that was a bit of a surprise workout and yeah, worked pretty fairly hard, not crazy hard. And also maintain a really good eating, uh, my good eating for the morning as well. So I'm pretty feeling pretty freaking fantastic. So it's not just the sleep. It's all those kind of things combined, which, which adds up to uh, feeling good. So that's it for now. Hersh.